Marion. I'm currently in Chicago for the weekend and we're staying at the Sheraton Hotel at Chicago Riverwalk. We love this hotel. I've stayed here a couple of times already. It's a great hotel to stay in. It's very convenient. You're close to everything and they do charge a destination fee, a resort fee, but you could use that to get like coffee, breakfast in their restaurants in the hotel free popcorn and also like gifts from the gift store. I recommend this hotel if you are staying in Chicago. And normally we go to Chicago in July for my dad's birthday but this time we went in March for my mom's birthday which coincidentally is also St. Patrick's and in Chicago they have this iconic event that happens during St. Patrick's every year is when they turn the Chicago River into green so I am very excited to finally witness that and let me show you the clip of it. So a good thing about also staying at the Sheraton Hotel is you could get a great view of the dying of green of the river from their ballroom and from their lobby or if you have a river view room you could see it from there so you don't have to join the crowds along the river walk if you don't want to and fun fact about dyeing the Chicago River green they actually use orange dye so that was like something interesting that I found out during this trip and even if you miss the actual dying of the river it stays green for up to a week so if you come a couple of days after St. Patrick's or if you just miss the dying altogether, you can still see it if you're just like within the week of St. Patrick's Day. We didn't do much as far as sightseeing this time because it's still very cold in Chicago and it's spring and it's still like snowing in the morning. It gets sunny but it's still like very cold and very windy. So we didn't really do a lot of outdoor stuff but also, we kind of like saw a lot of Chicago already since we've been here like almost every year since my brother moved to Chicago. But we did go to some nice places to eat. The first night we went to an all-you-can-eat sushi called Sushi Place. And we definitely got our money's worth there. We ate so much sushi. And then after seeing the dying of the Chicago Riverwalk and taking in the sights, we went to Ruby's, which is a Filipino restaurant that we really love here in Chicago. I think they have the best Filipino food out of anywhere we ate, not just in Chicago. So I highly recommend checking them out. And it's worth the trip if you're already renting a car to go around Chicago anyways. I recommend going there instead of going to like Seafood City. Seafood City quality has gone down a lot and i don't really recommend it you're just going to be disappointed if you want to eat filipino food just go to ruby's fast food it says fast food but it's not really a, a fast food it's a sit down restaurant and it takes about like 30 minutes to get your food because they cook everything fresh but it's really good and worth the wait and honestly it's not really much of a wait like we never really waited when we go there but just expect there's going to be like a 30 minute wait before you get your food Then we went to Chinatown to a Triple Crown restaurant for dim sum and Chinese food and highly recommend. I saw it on TikTok 
and the food was good and we ate so much but our bill only came to about like a hundred dollars which is not bad for like five people and with the amount of food that we ate and everything was good So I really recommend that but actually anything in Chinatown is supposed to be good and then we went to Joyi to get some bubble tea I got the rose lychee oolong tea and my brother got like the watermelon basil thing which is also good and my sister got the lavender black milk tea also good and they have also great desserts if you want to try it as well but honestly anything on Chinatown is also worth checking out and worth the trip near my brother's place is this supermarket called Gangnam Market which is like an Asian grocery store it has like a food court that sells like ramen korean tacos and of course bubble tea and they have like the regular grocery store but it's a lot of like asian snacks and like weird flavored lace potato chips sodas that has like has like sailor moon on it anime and all of that so if you're into like a lot of anime stuff or like just like a big fan of asian snacks Highly recommend. They also have like every flavor of bulldog noodles. If you like bulldog noodles too. So highly recommend going to Gangnam Market as well. Last place we ate at is Fotega. We went here before flying back to DC because we were craving pho and this was the closest to my brother's apartment on the way to the airport. But as far as pho, it was good. It's not great. It's nothing to write home about. But what's really good in this restaurant is their other dishes like this chicken skin, their chicken rice. I think it was better than the one we had in Chinatown and this topsy log. So unless you're really craving pho and can't make your way to Chinatown, I would skip the pho and go for their other dishes instead, especially their rice dishes. They're so delicious and so worth it. And yeah, so this is the last place we ate at in Chicago. So yeah, that was pretty much our weekend here in Chicago. Like I said, we didn't really do a lot of sightseeing because we've been here a lot of times in the past. So if you wanna check my previous Chicago vlogs to see sites in Chicago, but honestly, I really love Chicago. I call it like the nicer, cleaner version of New York City. As much as I love New York City, you know I'm an NYC girl. I'm probably going to be back there in a couple months or so. But Chicago, every time I'm here, I'm just like, this is a nicer version of New York City. If only the weather is a bit nicer though or warmer for most part of the year, but it's usually like very cold and windy. It is called the Windy City after all. But that's it for my short Chicago vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.